Today we're going to show you how to wire a dual 4 ohm subwoofer as a 2 ohm load and as an 8 ohm load. What you'll need is a voltmeter and some speaker wire. A quick way to see if you have a dual voice coil sub is to look on the back. You should have two sets of speaker terminals. This tells you that you have two coils within the woofer. One dual voice coil 4 ohm sub can be wired either as a 2 ohm load or as an 8 ohm load. What we'll do is use a voltmeter to test the DC resistance of each coil just to make sure that they are 4 ohm. Set our voltmeter to resistance, that's the omega sign here. We'll use a set of leads. It doesn't matter either positive or negative. All you're doing is testing the resistance within this coil. We'll put one in the positive side, one in the negative side. Now it's really important that you have the woofer facing up. The reason for that, or if you have the woofer facing down, or for that matter, something pressing on it, is you'll see that the voltmeter will change. Make sure the woofer is completely stationary, facing up, and that will give you the resistance of one of the coils. As you can see here, we have 3.2 ohms. Now this is a four ohm woofer. Don't let this number fool you. We're only measuring the resistance of one coil. This is not the impedance. Impedance changes once a woofer is installed in an enclosure and playing. So you can see we have again 3.2, and now we'll show you how to parallel the connections and series the connections for a two ohm load and an eight ohm load. One of the more common questions that we get before we actually show you any of the wiring is, do I need a specific type of speaker wire or is it a special wire when making the jumper wire? No, it's not, it's regular speaker wire. So whatever you're gonna use to wire your subwoofer to your amplifier, you'll use that same wire to make the jumpers. So our first setup will actually be a two ohm load. That is two coils in parallel to create two ohms for the amplifier. What you'll do is connect the positive side of one coil to the positive of the other coil. You'll do the exact same thing with the negative side. So you'll take the negative one coil and connect it to the negative of the other coil. So now you can see our connections are paralleled, red to red, black to black. This will create a four ohm load, four ohm load to a two ohm load at the amplifier. Not all amplifiers can support a two ohm load. Two channel amplifiers typically when run in stereo have a maximum load of two ohms, meaning you can't go any lower. Class D amplifiers typically will run anywhere from one ohm to two ohm. You'll need to double check your instruction manual to see which one applies to your amp. The advantage to running lower impedance, if the amplifier can handle it, is the amplifier will output more power. Now it'll do so by emitting more heat from the amp, so you wanna make sure your power wire, your speaker wire, and the cooling of the amplifier are up to the task. If the amplifier is rated for it, it usually means it is, you'll need to make absolutely sure your power wire is large enough to support the current draw of the amplifier. Our final connection will be that of the speaker wire from the subwoofer to the amplifier. This is relatively straightforward. You'll just connect the positive and the negative. So this would be the lead that goes to your amp. Again, you've set up a two ohm load at the amplifier. Now we're using relatively thin gauge wire here just for demonstration purposes. And again, you would need to decide whether or not you wanna use 16 gauge, 14 gauge, 12 gauge, all depends on your power requirement. We'll use a voltmeter just to test the load prior to hooking it up to an amplifier. We'll put our voltmeter on resistance in ohms, our negative probe on the black wire, positive probe on the red wire, and you'll see we have 1.5 ohms. Again, this is DC resistance, not impedance. Impedance changes when it's installed in an enclosure and playing. But here you can see, basically we have a two ohm load. Next, we'll set up an eight ohm load. It's a little different in principle because what we're gonna do is series the connection, not parallel. With series wiring, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the red and connect that to the black of the other coil. Then you have the positive side of one coil and the negative side of the other coil that will go to the amplifier. It's a little simpler, it's just a single jumper and then two output wires. So our first connection is the negative side of one coil to the positive side of the other coil. 
that leaves you with one positive, one negative. Both of these will go to the amplifier. So these two outputs will go straight to the amp. This will give you an eight ohm load. So what we'll do is test it on a voltmeter. That way you can see the exact load of the amp. Again, resistance on the voltmeter. Take the positive probe and the negative probe, connect it to your two speaker wires, and you'll see we have a 6.0 ohm load. Make sure to watch all of our other videos on subwoofer wiring, subwoofer matching, amplifier installation, and make sure to get all of your car audio and video gear with us at qualitymobilevideo.com. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, click that like button, and thank you for watching.